Hi everyone, today's video is going to be another video on my declutter series. Today I'm going to tackle powders and concealers. Now, in the past, powders and concealers are one of my hardest areas because I love concealer. Um, in general, for the past couple of years, I've worn concealer way more than I've worn foundation and I just really like it. Like, I just like... I like my skin showing a bit. Today I don't even, I think I have on like, yeah, I've got a little bit of concealer on, but I don't have any foundation or anything on, which for some people that might not be what you like, but I really like wearing just some like under eye concealer, concealing spots I need to, a bit of powder and I'm done. And I think it's because with wearing masks and stuff, my skin just doesn't react fantastically to masks when I have a ton of makeup on. So I have had plenty of times where I wear full makeup, but in general on a day to day, I am wearing concealer, like in the vlogs and stuff, I'm wearing concealer with powder and then I do like full eye makeup sometimes, but in general it's concealer and powder. So this is going to be a hard one and I need to be a bit ruthless because last time I don't think I got rid of very many and I wasn't happy with what I got rid of and the reality is like a lot of these I'm not going to be able to finish before they go bad so I would rather pass on some the reality is I've already bought it, so I'd rather be able to pass these on to people who can use them and be happy with them. So, concealers and powders, now. Okay, so I have 23 concealers. Five of which are potted concealers. I have two minis, so that's seven, which means I have like 15 bigger concealers. Okay, now this time what I absolutely have to do is get rid of one straight away that are like the same, like if I have two versions of it, unless it's like a super favourite. So, bearing that in mind, I have two Tarte Shape Tape in Fair. One can go. That is like ripping a band-aid off right there. Um, I have two cover girl in porcelain. One can go. And the other one can stay. So that's two that I'm keeping so far and two I'm getting rid of. Right, let's start with some ones that I just want to pass on or get rid of. Okay, this Anastasia Beverly Hills concealer in at 0.75. I have used it. My problem is it kind of smells like crayons and I can't really ever get over that and I can't tell, like I've had it for a while so I can't tell if that's because it's gone off or if that's just the smell of it but it's too painty, crayony smelling so that can go. I'm going to pass on this Tarte Creaseless Concealer in 20 in because it's just too emollient and I don't really like it and actually I don't think that shade is good for me either. The mini tar and light sand I'm going to keep because I actually think sometimes the fair is too fair so I want to try that out a bit more before I get the bigger size because I'm happy enough to have two different shades of one but I don't need two of the exact same one. Okay. I purposefully haven't set myself a goal with these because I just am unsure if I would make it. Right, this isn't open because it's a replacement for one that I finished. This is the Milani Conceal and Perfect, so that is staying. So I currently have four that I'm keeping and four that I'm getting rid of, so that's not too bad. But let's, let's see. I'm going to pass on this MAC 24 Hour Studio Fix. Um, I think I've just maybe had it a bit long. So that can go. That actually needs to go in the bin rather than like to somebody. I'm going to keep this Lancome Tien Idol Ultra. I love this. And I love how it has this kind of like bigger doe foot applicator. So that can stay. Sorry, I just realised I've not really been showing these very well. Um, I'm going to keep the Colourpop Pretty Fresh because I love it. It's really nice. Um, I've got it in light 40 and I really like it. Um, this actually needs to be in my empties now because this is like done. This is the 
Number seven, Lift Illuminate Serum Concealer that I love. It's like my everyday concealer, but I've taken out the stopper and it's just kind of done now. So that actually needs to go in and empties rather than get passed on to anybody because it's just finished, as I said. I have Pretty Fresh as well in Light 33C, which I'm going to keep because I have two shades of it. Um, one's a bit lighter, one's a bit darker. That's fine. I'm going to keep this Dose of Colours Meet Your Hue. I really like this. Um, this is in 09 Light. Again, bigger kind of doe foot applicator. Love it. I'm going to pass on this Born, the, Born This Way in Ferris. I think the colour's just too light. Um, I've realised that I like a concealer that's a bit lighter than my skin tone, but not so much lighter than my skin tone. And this is very, very light, so that can go. Okay. Now, it Cosmetics Bye Bye Redness is a concealer, yes, but it's like a corrector. It's thick. It's amazing. Um, you only need the tiniest bit, so that's going to stay along with my Bye Bye Under Eye because it's kind of like a corrector too. And they're my only correctors at the minute. I thought I had the Bobbi Brown, but I don't. I think maybe I passed it on last time. Unsure. So they're staying. This Revolution Potted Concealer my sister gave me. It's a Conceal and Fix in Light Beige. She realised it was too light for her. I haven't really used it a ton, so I need to kind of use it more before I decide. I'm keeping the NARS Soft Matte Concealer in Vanilla because I do really like it. Um, and these are the kind of like the potted concealers tend to be the ones that I use to cover like spots and stuff. The other ones I tend to use more for my under eye. I'm going to pass on the Infallible more the concealer because the last couple of times I've worn it, I just feel like it hasn't sat that nice on me and it's not been my favourite. Um, so that can go. The Sephora Bright Future Gel Serum Concealer, I really like. So I'm going to keep... The only thing is I hate this applicator because it's not a doe foot. Like, you can't put it on that way much. You have to kind of more like dot it which annoys me because I feel like they should have a better system for that, but that can stay. I'm also going to keep the Benefit Boing Cakeless Concealer because this is a somewhat kind of newer purchase too and haven't used it a ton since they reformulated, so I want to use it more. And then I'm going to pass on the Conceal and Hydrate, which I kept last time, but I haven't used it a ton. I won't miss it in my collection, so that can go. So that is three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, nine going and one, two, three, six, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen staying, which is still a lot, but nine going is always good. Okay, as somebody who films, it's annoying when it happens, but I just decluttered these powders. I talked about the ones that I decluttered, got rid of them, and it didn't keep any of the footage. So I'm going to talk about the ones that I've got rid of and this will maybe give me like a bit of pause for thought. So currently I have five I'm getting rid of. The Bare Minerals Matte in Fairly Medium because I don't really use it a ton. Um, The Bare Minerals Mineral Veil which I'm kind of having and on about, I don't know. I'm going to get rid of this Cover FX Translucent because I've got it in the bigger one, I've never once used the travel size. I'm going to pass on the Bobbi Brown like white translucent kind of powder because I have several of those and I don't need as many as I have. Do you know what? I think I'm going to pass... Mm, no. Right, I'm passing on the light Celebration Illumination Foundation because I've had it for a long time and I got the fair. I think the fair is a better colour. Mineral Veil I'm going to pass on because I just have never used it. I've never wanted to use it. I'm not going to want to use it now. These two I'm keeping, this is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish and this is the number seven Airbrush Away. These two are very, very similar. So if you don't want to spend the money on the Charlotte Tilbury, get the number seven. I like to have both. This is the Cover FX in Translucent, which I like. Um, this is Bare Minerals R210 Ready Foundation, which has been discontinued, but I really like it as a powder foundation. So I'm keeping the two that I have. Because they don't really go out of date. I'm not using them on named deals. The e.l.f. Halo Glow I'm keeping as a setting powder because I really like it. I like that it's got a bit of glow to it. This is the MAC version of um, 
it's like the pressed finishing powder. This is the NARS version. So I'm keeping the two of those. Studio Fix in NW15, I really like. I don't use this like puffy thing. I think I've used it once. But I use the powder, I use it with a brush and I really like it. There's a bit of a dip there, which you can't really see on camera, but they're definitely, oh, you can see it a little bit there. But um, yeah. MAC Light Plus I'm keeping because I just like it as a kind of like finishing powder on top of like see if I've done too much bronzer I just kind of go over with this or the Studio Fix and that's kind of sorted. I'm going to keep Laura Mercier Translucent. I have had this forever and I don't use it that often but I'm getting a bit more into it so I don't really want to get rid of it yet. The Bare Minerals Bare Pro is very new to me and it's the new version of like the R210 so I want to try it because if I like it as much, I can then pass on the R210s, but it means I've got like a combination. And this CoverGirl Clean Powder just smells like classic CoverGirl. And so for that, I'm keeping it. So I got rid of three, four, I got five powders and I'm keeping 14. 